They're the pride of the British Empire. Uh, no, not Queen Elizabeth and the royal family, but these top dogs. What could be more British than... Collies, like this beardy. And where's the head? Here's an eye. Or corgis, the Queen's favourite four-legged friends. What makes this dog so British? It has style, probably. At least I think so. <laughs> it's big mouth and it's weatherproof. <laughs> At this dog show in the German state of Brandenburg, they're honouring British style. Dogs are awarded points on their looks, build, gait and personality. India, a 13-year-old Beardy, is a veteran. What makes this breed so special? A Beardy won't obey as quickly as a sheepdog. Instead, he'll think, why does my master want me to come? If there's a good reason, then he'll come. A partner with a mind of his own. How typically British. And that's the problem. UK breeders are proud to be British and even prouder Brexiteers, says Sarah Boyd from Germany's Club for British Herding Dogs. So, after Brexit, regulations for dogs entering the UK are likely to be tightened. Canines might have to spend weeks in quarantine. Of course, there are really good breeders there and you'd like to use their stud dogs. They have other genetic material than what we have here. If they can't go to the UK, these dogs might not get a mate. How shocking. Will Germany's dog population soon be comprised of just Dachshunds and German Shepherds? India, the beardy, now in the ring, needn't worry about that. With her 13 years, she's a senior citizen. But folks here will also miss the camaraderie with their British counterparts. Some travel to Birmingham each year to Crafts, the famous dog show. It's about fulfilling a dream. I'm crying because I wanted to do that once in my life. Even if we don't win, we can say we were there. It's sad, but cheer up. Other countries also have nice dogs. And as far as breeding goes, there's always artificial insemination. Though for owners who prefer their dogs mate the old-fashioned way, it's bye-bye Britain.